What's up, everybody? This is like the Tech Preacher. So this is my continuous coverage uh, of me showing you guys the things that I do here in my studio when I make a lot of content. Uh, now, I've been showing you guys and making videos about my microphones, right? Uh, in the studio, when I make videos, right, if I'm recording my videos, I usually use about three microphones and I use two recorders, uh, one to record my main audio and the second recorder to get with what I call redundancy. I use separate microphones for each. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys my workflow on how I get good audio for my YouTube channel and for my voiceovers. So let's have a, some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So uh, I wanna show you guys how I edit my audio. To me, audio is very important. Every time I record a video, even with me recording this video, my audio is flat. I don't do no uh, processing or anything when I record my audio. I do all my audio equalization, compressions, and everything else is, is in post. The two apps that I use, well, first for my video, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Or if I'm using a smartphone, I'm using Adobe Rush if I'm using a smartphone. But I always edit my audio in Adobe Edition. So right here, I was working on a video, but I want to show you guys how I rock my audio. Now, here it is. I have three cameras here. I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro. And uh, what I want to do is I want to set this up. First, I need to synchronize my audio uh, with my video clip. So the, basically the way I do that is I go ahead on and I put my main clip here and all of them is at 4K. So let's go to get my secondary clip here. And then I want to get my third clip here at the top. Now, let me go to push this in the middle here. All right. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to get my audio track. Uh, and I need to add a track to Adobe Premiere. And this is my audio track. Now this track is flat. No post-processing or nothing right now. This is a flat audio track coming from my F8 in Pro, my Zoom F8 in Pro. So I just wanted to let y'all guys know how I do this. So before I even start my audio editing with my video, I always like to synchronize it because uh, I do not use I call scratch audio on the other on the video. So what I highlight all of this here, and it's a useful tool in Adobe Premiere uh, that's called synchronize. So what I do is I synchronize my clips here and it does a very good job. So I don't have to match audio. Uh, so as you can see, it just finished. So what I do here is I kind of even out everything here uh, and go from there. Okay. All right. So at this point, I highlight my video clips and I need to get rid of the audio on my video clips. So let's go on to get rid of that. So I unlink it. I get rid of my audio clips, right? I cut. And at this point, what I do is I just take this audio clip and I just put it here and I link it with the first clip uh, and I link it. And so this clip is linked. So everything right here is synchronized. Okay. Let me go on and fix that and I fix that. All right. So everything is synchronized and I'm, re I'm ready to edit my audio. All right. So my audio is ready to go. So since I do this in Adobe edition, uh, what I do is I right click. And what I like about Adobe Premiere, you can edit the clip right in Adobe edition. So here we go. Edit clip in Adobe edition. So here it is. Uh, and it is taking my audio clip. And it's putting it in Adobe Edition right now. So that is a good thing. Now, uh, I'm going to let y'all guys listen to the before and after. But I do want y'all guys to hear, uh, see how I do all my edits when it comes down to audio. So in this studio, kind of give you a background. This studio is sound treated for reverberation and to get rid of echo and everything else in between. In this studio, I have about six or seven lights 
that has fans running. I have about four computers running that has fans running. Running. I have about five uh, monitors on right now. So I have a lot of stuff going on that's causing noise. So I have to get rid of that first because I, I try to get rid of the noise and it's virtually impossible to deaden this studio. Now this studio is sound treated, not soundproof. It's a total difference. All right. So let's talk about my workflow. The first thing I want to do is I want to look at the noise, right? And as you can see here, the purple spots of Adobe Edition has noise. And I got that noise right at the top here. I don't know if you can see that, but I see noise. So what I want to do is I want to get what's called a noise print. So I take a part of the video where I'm silent. Okay. So I take a part of the video where I'm silent, just like that. So I take that part of the video and I go to what's called effects. This is my workflow, right? And uh, what I get go to effects, what I want to do is I want to go to noise reduction process and I want to get what's called capture noise print. And what that, what that just done is it captured the noise print. Now I want to select entire file, which that's the entire audio file. And uh, right here, this is what I have it at. Uh, this works for me. I have it at about 54% of noise reduction. Uh, and it's, um, I reduce it by 9.8 dB. So this is for me, it works here in this studio. So what I do is I hit apply. Now, once I hit apply, you're gonna see some differences uh, in the noise. See, now you see like almost virtually all the noise is gone. Let me go on to normalize it. That's the second thing I usually do. So here's the clap right there, right? And I wanna kind of go beyond the clap. Uh, and uh, because that's what I use to synchronize my audio. But I like to go about right here and highlight the rest. So at this point, the, my next thing that I do is I normalize my audio. I normalize it minus two dB. And now this is a 32 bit float um, audio clip. So I try to minimize it to two dB. And the reason why is because if I uh, did the video in my audio, was clipping. I'm using 32 bit float to prevent clipping. So I got it minus two dB. All right. So let's go and apply that. And as you can see, the audio just went lower. All right. I do still have some spikes here, uh, but we go, I'm going to take care of that with the rest of this editing of this process. So the next thing I do after I did the normalization, I go to my EQ. I go to parametric equalizer. Now, this is a preset that I have, and it works great for my voice for these microphones that I have in this studio. I have a low pass filter and a high pass filter. The low pass filter gets rid of all the rumble and hum, and I got it at about 70 hertz. I have a high pass filter at about 18,000 hertz. So I have a high pass filter and a low pass filter. Uh, so after I get my equalization correct. I apply that. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go back to effects and I wanna go to dynamics. Right here, I go to dynamics and the only thing that I'm using in dynamics is auto gate. Now again, this is something that you would have to play around with that fits your needs in your room in your studio. This is the noise gate. Uh, and that works out great in this uh, scenario. So I have it already preset. So I apply that to my audio clip. Uh, the next thing I use is called a multi-band compressor. Now this multi-band compressor that I use and I got it customized, but uh, I use the preset called broadcast. So I use the broadcast preset. And then once I use the broadcast preset as I talk up and down i make my adjustments to fit my needs my for my studio for the microphones that i have and it works great here and i have it all here now the, the multi-band compressor it compress different phases of your audio from the high end to the mids to the lows to compress it to make it sound very very even so i got a multi-band compressor here 
and I got it negative eight. My gain is negative eight dBs, by the way. So I apply that multi-gain compressor, right? So after I apply the multi-gain compressor, as you can see, when you're looking at this line, you can see that it's very compressed. It looks really good. Those tall lines that you saw early in the video, it shrunk down. So it works great. The last, the, well, the next thing I use is what's called a de -esser. Now I have a very high in sibilance voice, right? So I use a compress, I use a de to get rid of some of the sibilance that I have in my voice. So I add a, and again, you have to play around with the de to get to the point where it works great for you. Now I have mine at minus 30 dB. I probably could go up a little bit, but I got it minus 30 dB for the sibilance. Okay, so I apply that. And the last thing I do with my audio is I normalize it again because I normalize it in the beginning. And then once I finish all my edits, I normalize it again. So I normalize it again, minus 2 dB, and you will see it go up. All right, so now you see that it go to the up to the perfect audio. Now at this point, I am completely done with my audio. So once I do that, what I like about Adobe Edition, it syncs from Adobe Edition to Adobe Premiere Pro. So uh, it will automatically sync all this processing over to my clip uh, in Adobe um, Edition, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. All right. So I go to file. I go to save. Now I save in it. And when I go to Premiere Pro, as you can see, it just did everything. All right. So let's go on and listen to the clip. Uh, and I want y'all guys to hit a clip uh, with the compression and all the equalization and without the compression and equalization. So in 2023 has been an interesting year for me. And one of the comeback devices of the year is the Pixel series of devices. Year after year, I've had my issues with Pixel devices. So in this video, I'm going to take you back down to memory lane and show you guys all the issues that I've documented video after video, year after year of Pixel devices that I've had problems with and why the Pixel 8 Pro is the best Pixel yet. Let's talk about it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. So there you have it. You just heard the audio of this flat sound and then you just heard the audio that was completely edited. Now it's a huge difference in the edited part uh, of the audio compared to the flat sound. Now, if you're looking at this video on a smartphone, you may not hear the difference. I would encourage you to listen to it on professional headphones or some uh, monitors or some speakers uh, to hear the difference in sound quality. So that's my workflow of my audio that I'd use for every video. It don't matter if I'm editing on a smartphone. It don't matter if I'm editing in, in Adobe Premiere Pro. The audio workflow that I use here in this YouTube channel is all the same. And I have it tuned for this studio, for my voice, for my microphones that I have. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. I will continue to make these studio videos so y'all guys can hit see the workflow that I do on a daily basis here in this studio. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.